Hi, I'm Lance with Brando Consulting, Fishbowl expert since 2006. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the Part Activity Report, one of Fishbowl's most popular reports, which sometimes I call the Audit Trail. Let's take a look. We'll go to Reports, type in Part Activity Report, double click on it, and we get this pop up. I'm going to filter for last year and I'm going to go to the option tab and then say let's look at everything that happened in middle field from this particular user. I'll scroll down to see all the different transactions that might come up shipping transactions, receiving transactions, transferring, yield means to pick OK, click OK, and then I'm going to click on this window to give me the full view. That's better. I can see that better now. And I'll give us the full view of the report right here. So you'll see on the screen that we've got the location the transaction happened in, plus the date and timestamp that it happened, a description of the transaction, received, purchase order, from uh, purchase order six. Then also you'll see here under reference we have a yield where we picked the sales order number five from this location to this location and that's the part number. Now this column right here usually comes up with some questions. Above the line is the quantity that was changed. Below the, qu below the line is the resulting quantity. LG stands for location group. So we've got location group on hand. So it's saying that this part number changed this amount in this location group. Okay, ship SO number five, receive, adjust scrap. So we see a lot of different activity. Here we go, consumed raw good from work order number. Received finished good from work order number. That was the result of that work order. A lot of helpful information. We've got the tracking number, and we can filter by any of these fields here. Let's go back to the filtering area. Modify report. Click on optional. And let's put in a specific part number. Let's put in... Um, POCO LB, that's a good one. And notice I'm not going to use this in this demo, but you can filter by the tracking number. So take a look at that. Click OK. There we go, we've yielded and we've shipped. Now oftentimes we only want to see the time that the quantity increased and decreased. So to see that, we'll go back to modify report and say uncheck yield because that just means the quantity is moving around. We'll click OK and there we have just the, the increases and decreases. Thanks for joining us today at this overview of the part activity report, Fishbowl's audit trail.